We are very excited to have Dr. Patrick Borgen from Mimodities Medical Center joining us today. Dr. Borgen is chair of the Department of Surgery and heads the Brooklyn Breast Cancer Center. He is also the program chair of the PER Miami Breast Cancer Conference. He has received a multitude of grants from the National Institutes of Health, the American Cancer Society, the U.S. Army and National Cancer Institute. Additionally, he has published over 200 articles in peer-reviewed journals, 139 abstracts, and 15 editorials. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you Borgen, for, having me. for I'm joining very us. Excited to be here. Thank well, you. why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and some of the clinical research uh, that you're engaged in right now? Sure. Um, in the late 80s, I trained uh, at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Uh, I spent two years in the breast cancer research lab there. Uh, I joined their faculty in 1991. In 93, I became the chief breast surgeon at Memorial and spent the next 12 or 13 years running that uh, program. I also founded the William F. Keck Breast Cancer Research Laboratory at Memorial Sloan Kettering. Uh, after a wonderful 15-year run there, I was recruited to help build Brooklyn's first and only cancer center and first and only breast cancer center. Well, why don't you talk a little bit about some of your current clinical interests? Right, so um, everything breast cancer related uh, fascinates me. Uh, we participated in the discovery of the BRCA2 mutation that Ashkenazi Jewish women uh, suffer from. Uh, we were developers of sentinel node biopsy technology, skin sparing, nipple sparing mastectomy. Today we're involved in efforts of prevention, uh, continuing to fine-tune the treatment of breast cancer. Well, you I mentioned something there, and there has been a lot of discussion uh, about widespread screening for the BRCA mutations, uh, particularly in women of the Ashkenazi Jewish descent. So what is your opinion about population-based BRCA screening yeah. and some of the most recent uh, recommendations suggested by researcher Mary Claire King? Yeah. Well, Mary Claire King is a very dear friend and has been a collaborator for 20 years, and I respect her enormously. Recently, she started a dialogue about whether we should screen women in the Ashkenazi population, regardless of family history, for the BRCA gene. And her logic is that one in 50, two mm percent -hmm. of women that are Ashkenazi have this mutation. That's a very high percentage, actually. And so her theory is, is that gene testing is where mammography used to be. It used to be that you felt a lump, right. you went to your doctor, and then you got a mammogram. Mm -hmm. And of course today we screen with mammograms before. Mary Claire is saying, we're learning about BRCA mutations too late. So her editorial about this has raised a lot of eyebrows, but it's a great dialogue to have. It's, it's the right question to be asking. So it's a matter of, at a certain age, looking at Genetics, uh, and, and is there a certain age that it, it, uh, women would go to to say, do I have this? Well, it's really about risk management. Mm. The BRCA genes code for both breast cancer and ovarian cancer. We have great screening for breast cancer. We have no screening for ovarian cancer. So the idea here is to identify women who are at a 20 to 30% risk of getting ovarian cancer and, and helping them interact proactively.